more welcome back to my channel it's by Mandy my name is Amanda and this is the beginning of a cozy Christmassy wintry week in my life knitting vlog earlier this month I was like I'm going to do vlogmas I'm going to do weekly vlogs it is now December 11th and I have not posted one vlog I did film last week and I just like wasn't happy with what I created I ended up having to work at a conference for my job being on site at an event is very draining for me as an introvert. It's very long days. I had nothing to give you when I got home and um, it was not very cozy and or fun for me personally. So we are starting now. Who says you can't start in the middle of the month? And I'll, I think I'm aiming to do a weekly vlog for this week and then um, like we'll see what happens for the rest of the month. Um, it's kind of stressful. And I don't ever really want to go for that vibe on my channel. So anyway, I'm excited to be vlogging here now. Uh, it is Monday. I have some things that I want to get started before I start my work day today. And the first thing that I have is my folklore cardigan. Y'all, it is finished. It's done. I'm done with my folklore cardigan. I, except for two things. <laughs> One, I have to block it. And two, I have to have put buttons on it. I don't have any buttons. I just have been putting off getting getting buttons and I just don't have any. But other than that, like I just finished weaving everything in and she's here. How exciting is this? So I'm going to try this on. I'm gonna shoot um, some footage just so I can do like a before and after reel because with something like cables, it's gonna be a very hopefully dramatic blocking process. I'll, I'll show you my blocking process and then some other things that I'm working on this week. So what you can expect for this vlog is a lot of knitting things, but also like a little more peek into my life. I'm also kind of balancing that and like anything that really involves getting into the holiday spirit. Once I finish this, I'll show you what I'm also working on and kind of like my goals for the end of the month. My goals are to one, I wanted to finish this, we're going to do that. I just finished my sweet shop blanket, which is a gift for a family member. And I want to finish a scarf. That's my lowest priority and I'll show you the blanket right now. This is what I have so far for my sweet shop blanket. It's for a little baby boy. Um, this is not my, you know, my personal color palette, but I think it's really sweet for a baby blanket. Really enjoyed working on this so far. It's very relaxing, very calming. And this is by Laura Penrose. And it's just like garter stitch triangles that it's a join as you go construction. So there's no seaming, which is really nice. So I've been really enjoying working on this. I'm working on square seven out of 24. And I'm getting like about a square done a day. And I had to pause a little to get the cardigan done. So we're doing a lot of catch up work on this. So it's going to be like... A lot of cameras off in meetings for me working on this, to be honest. The last thing I have, this is, I don't really have a deadline, but I would just like to clear my needle so I can start something in the new year. This is the Solo Scarf by Kadri, um, and this is knit in, oh, I didn't mention. The blanket is knit in Barocco Superwash, and this is the Solo Scarf by Kadri, and this is knit in Originally Lovely Lana in the colorway Merlot, and it's very lovely as, the name dictates and this is just a like very squishy delightful textured scarf there's a lot of cat hair in this um sassy really i like kept these on my carpet that's like not what you're supposed to do she really liked laying in these and then i felt bad taking them away from her so anyway it's just a triangle scarf with some garter stitch detailing within it i'm getting really weird harsh morning light right now having southern facing windows in the northern hemisphere is all fun and games until it is winter and then you just get the most intense like sun uh, so that's what i'm working on this week i'm going to get this sweater on the blocking board the yoga mat um and i'll take you with me through my blocking process and let's try it on real quick this is what we're working with with the sweater I would like it to be a little bit more oversized. I kind of wish I'd knit the size up. There's nothing we can do about that now, so I just want to give this a very aggressive block. And one thing that I've I've heard other people talk about is 
I think Andrea Mowry's preferred way of blocking, which is to put it in like lukewarm water and then let your sweater sit there like until the water is cold. I'm going to do that and see how it goes. The thing is like I, I need a little more space in the sleeves I feel like. Um, this I'm not mad with like the length and everything else. It's really the sleeve. So here's up close. It is adorable. I really like how it looks. It's really cute. If I do say so myself, I think it's pretty well done. So I'm, I can't believe I'm even wearing this right now. It's been such a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Taylor Swift, please don't copyright me. I love you. Okay, so let's get this in the sink. I'm wrapping up my work day and before my boyfriend comes home, I thought we could take a little preview of some of the gifts that I'm giving this year. So if you are my boyfriend, my mom, my aunt, or my cousin, please skip ahead or just click out of this video and you can watch the rest of it later. My boyfriend and I went to Italy this summer. My boyfriend like planned this trip as a Christmas gift for me last year. It's like truly the most thoughtful, beautiful gift I've ever received. And part of the gift was visiting uh, the town that my great grandparents came from in Italy. It's a little town called Ataleta in Abruzzo, which is like the mountainous kind of like middle region of Italy. And um, only one of my family members had ever been back to visit before, and that was my great aunt. Um, she just turned 90 this year. She is thriving. <laughs> And we got to hear about her stories of visiting Atalita in the 70s um, before we left. We basically, we had a tour guide and um, like an ancestral guide basically, like they do ancestry tours. And so they'll like help you go to the municipal departments and like go to cemeteries and stuff and look for lost loved ones, well, not lost loved ones, but like look for family. So we didn't have any names, but we had this picture and we basically ran around this town looking for folks. So for my great aunt and my mom and my aunt, I decided to make little picture books of Atalita um, from Shutterfly. This is not sponsored, Shutterfly sponsored me. But like, there is something to be said about having physical pictures. And I know for a 90 year old, like, you don't wanna just like look at pictures on my phone and now she can look at this anytime that she wants to. A quick look of what it looks like. And I wrote about our family. We went to the cemetery to like see if we could find any like matching tombstones. It was like, it was so beautiful. A lot of it was um, like a lot of graves were destroyed during the war, um, during World War II. So there wasn't a lot there. We got to visit the church, Roman Catholicism. And this was me and my boyfriend. So a lot of the, a lot of, most of the people that migrated from Atalanta to the States either went to Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. And they literally have a Via Pittsburgh. That's me and my boyfriend there. And a Via Philadelphia, but it's spelled like with an F. Like the Abruzzo region was so pretty. We stayed in like a ski resort while we were there. It was very nice. It was lovely. Um, so this is just a little preview of that. And then I got a photo book for me and my boyfriend of like the larger trip. So this is where we stayed in Salerno. It's the back. I am gonna open this. Oh, it's so cute. This was what he wanted to do really badly. We went to the Amalfi Coast. He wanted to do the Path of the Gods. It's like this hike. It's gorgeous. It was stunning. We were so tired. But I got this huge plate of gnocchi after, so it was totally worth it. Wow, I have to say, this is really well done and beautiful. This is... Oh, I'm gonna cry. This was such a good trip. Yeah, some pictures of us from Rome. So, yeah. I don't know, this was just fun. I wanted to share, I wanted to take a look. And I'm excited to give these 
for Christmas. I think it might be too late to order these, especially by the time you see this video for Christmas, but they're a good gift idea because I know something that went viral was like the digital photo frame on TikTok, whatever. They're always trying to tell you something or show you something on TikTok. And I'm not trying to show you anything, but like as an idea, it's, I don't know. It's so nice to like see pictures and like hold them. And then like in 10 years, I can like take this book out and look at pictures instead of having to scroll through my phone. So I'm gonna go put this back in my closet. folklore cardigan block in the sun during the day yesterday don't worry I took it in at night um and I'm trying it on for the first time it's a little, still a little damp I'm not gonna lie but I'm already feeling oh the length I can already tell with the sleeves is just like this is way better all right oh it got a lot longer too okay oh this really grew into a very lovely length I do have it on selfie mode just so I can see it. I honestly think it looks really good. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think we've had any color bleeding. I blocked it with the white and black together and didn't have any issues, but I did leave it in the water for probably like an hour yesterday, maybe even longer. So a very aggressive amount of time in the water, but I didn't pin it. I'm feeling really good. I th I wish, I think I still wish the sleeves were just a little bit wider, like just a little bit, but I'm feeling okay with where they ended up. And I like that they're long so that you can get that kind of like, you know, that cozy little. So yeah, this is a look at it. Here's the back. Oh my, the back, I mean, the back is the like the best part. And so the back has the same motif as the sleeves. It has this like moss stitch cabling. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so jazzed. So tonight I think I'm gonna go to um, my local yarn store and see if they have any buttons. Um, so we can get buttons on this. I opted to go for three. You can't really see the buttonholes, but there's three here. Um, there's like one here, one in the middle and one at the bottom. The original cardigan only has three. This pattern called for five, but I kind of wanted to be truer to the pattern. Although I'm not gonna do like the stars, like the star patches or anything. Like I don't really think it needs them. Oh my goodness, it's. I've been working on this since September. Like I swatched for this in September. Like is that four months? September, October, November, December, October, November, December. It's three months. This is the longest it's taken me to do any project, and it's stunning, babes. I'm very happy with it. So that's the book I'm right again. I can't wait to tell people that I knit, I knit this. I'm very excited about that. And then is the blanket. So I have the blanket at its four block width now. And then I'm just going to start building it up. It's supposed to be six by four. I think it will be a worst case scenario. If it's five by four, I think it'll still be fine. I did plan out the colors. So if you can see here, this is like the first one that I did. And if you look diagonally up the blanket, like these colors will all be in line. So you can see that pattern starting to form with each color. So I'm also so happy with how this is going. It's just gonna be very sweet. And it's like so soft and squishy and just like, knit goodness yeah that's all i really have right now i have to you know do my job for the rest of the day um but yeah tonight i think i'm going to finish up some christmas shopping by myself and work on the blanket when i get home so that's what's on deck for the rest of the day
Okay, so I came back from Looped, and I have probably maybe the most boring local yarn store haul one could ever have. Um, I'm almost proud of it. So the first thing that I got was a skein of Barocco Vintage in white. They did not have the Barocco Superwash. This is a little different in that it's a Superwash acrylic blend. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Superwash. Ooh, it might not actually be Superwash. So it's an acrylic wool nylon blend. And it's not ideal, but we have to deal with what we have. If my calculations are correct, I'll only need it for four of the squares so it shouldn't be too big of a deal so they didn't yeah they didn't have the super wash this is all they had but they did have buttons literally they're just black buttons thrilling very exciting they had these kind of like um they're not mother of pearl because they were black but they were like that same like stone like texture like ceramic almost and had like black glitter on them i decided to stay true to form and got these just like wood black ones so yeah it was 15 dollars for everything which is the least amount of money i've ever spent in a yarn store so that's my little haul i'm gonna spend the rest of the night i have some housewives to catch up on and working on the blanket so i didn't get much done today um i just like wove in some ends and i'm working on the white part that I showed you last time. So. Good morning. It's Wednesday. You're halfway through the week. Well, we're not really halfway through the week right now. It's 9.40. So in a little bit, we'll be halfway through the week. I still have a little espresso this morning. And then I put in brown sugar and I steamed um, the maple oat beverage from Trader Joe's. So, although drinking like just espresso does like not make my tummy feel good in the morning, to be honest with you. But I did eat something before having coffee, so that is huge. Just have amusing to share. And it, it's going to make me sound like an old man shaking his fist at a cloud. Like, it's going to make me sound like a Grinch and a little cranky. And it, I, that's not my intention. I know, like, a big part of Vlogmas is opening up Advents and, like, Advent calendars. And every time I, like, see someone open their yarn Advent, I'm so happy for them. But I cannot help but think of when I was a child growing up Roman Catholic and we had an advent calendar and it had doors that you would open up. It was cardboard, right? Like you've seen those kind of cardboard advent calendars. I think they're way more popular kind of like, I understand in the UK, like advent calendars are very popular. I feel like recently in America, there's been a proliferation of advent calendars. You open the door and it was just a Bible verse. Like, that was the advent calendar that I grew up with. <laughs> and I think it even corresponded. We had, like, a prayer book for advent that, like, you could buy in our church's lobby along with advent wreaths and a candles and candles for your advent wreaths. I just am thrown back into that memory every time I see someone open an advent calendar. I'm like, I had this as a child, but it was so less fun. <laughs> I mean, it was religious. I'm no longer a religious person. If that's your advent calendar, that's great. But I just think about that and it makes me giggle sometimes. I'm like, huh. I remember I had a friend in high school, like a friend in middle school or high school, and when I learned that her advent calendar had chocolate in it, I was shocked. I was like, what? And the chocolate wasn't even that good. Shocking information to learn that there were advent calendars that actually had things in them and not just prayers. I didn't get a lot done on my blanket yesterday. I started knitting I, and then I was able to finish the square I was working on. I still only have nine squares and it's not the 13th so we got to get crack in here. We're like four squares behind. I like started to get a headache and then Sassy was laying on me. She really wanted my undivided attention last night so I went to bed early and yeah I have some work to do on the blanket today. So I should have a pretty chill evening with lots of time to knit. So hopefully we'll get two squares done today.
This is what happens when you go to make your bed in the morning, but Sassy is still in bed. We end up just like making the bed around her. So as not to disturb her because she's so cozy. And that is our life as cat owners. Oh, sorry. Good morning. Good morning, Sassy. Morning. It is Friday and this is what I have so far in the blanket. So this is this corner down here, this blue corner down here is where I started. No. Yes. No. This blue corner down here is where I started. And we have, we have it all going. I think the colors are looking good so far. I'm just really happy with it. So I'm going to continue to make some progress on this. Last night I had one of my best friends over and we made um, Italian pizzelles, which we both come from like Italian American families, which is like a family tradition for us. She's my friend from college, like back in the years of yore, when we were in college, I guess we were retelling the story to Austin last night. I, either she brought me back pizzelles from like Thanksgiving or something. Anyway, it, we were like, let's make pizzelles. She has an aunt that's local and her aunt gave us this like Sam's Club bag that had the pizzelle iron because you need a special iron to make the cookies. They're like waffle cookies. And, um, or, like they look like a waffle, but they're not waffle X. So you need a pizzelle iron and she like pre-measured everything in the recipe for us. <laughs> but last night we made them all by ourselves and it was just nice because she got me, because my friend got me a pizzelle iron for my birthday this year. So I had to put it to good use. So that was fun. It was nice. And yeah, tonight I'm, that friend's actually having a Christmas party. I might wrap the blog tonight, just like show you what I'm wearing, I guess. And then we'll post this vlog tomorrow. This has been really fun. I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't like push through last week as I just did not have the energy and nor was it like very exciting. So this was a more fun week to watch. I finished a sweater. I got some great progress done on my blanket and I'm feeling really good. So I hope everyone is enjoying their Decembers, whether you celebrate the holidays or not. Um, just like taking some time to slow down before the end of the year. So yeah, I will probably see y'all this evening and then let's see another vlog. party was a lot of fun it is now saturday morning and i'm officially ending the vlog here i'm wishing you all happiness health and wealth in the new year bye y'all